So how about we sitting in bed watching TV and we hear this loud crash. Somebody done ran into our mailbox, hit this person's car that's parked, and they just jump out and left their car running. What's up YouTube fam, it's Joe and Christine. We back with another video. This video, we're gonna be doing something that we haven't done yet before. We're gonna do a little story time video. Um, yeah, that's what we gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do a little story time video. Let's tell y'all a little short story. Short, stupid one. Something that happened that's already happened. Like this would be the second time it happened. Right. So, last night was crazy. <laughs> it Let me was tell y'all. You starting off? You going? I, I started off. Go ahead. So, we sitting in the bed watching TV. It's about, what, 11.30, 12? Yeah. About 11.30, 11, 11.45 at night. And then, all of a sudden, BOOM! BOOM! Something just. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can't be too much that. <laughs> All of a sudden, boom! We had this loud crash outside. Like, it, it was loud. Like, boom! It, it was loud. So, I get up, I look out the window. The first thing I see is my mailbox laying on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then, maybe like 10 feet. In front of it, it's a car that's crashed into a parked car. So I'm thinking, what, what in the world just happened? Yo, all I can say was I already knew what it was because what else is going to be? It's going to be a car. So next thing you know, I jumped up and I look out the window. So I see my neighbor coming out of her house and I'm like, okay, she need to be careful because people these days are crazy. They could have like a gun or something. So she went up to the car and peeked. I don't assume it wasn't nobody in there. So she went to the other neighbor house to go get him and they start looking. So that's when Joe. Yeah, I just got up. I, I looked out the window just to see, just to check the surrounding to see what's going on or whatever. So I ran and I put some clothes on, went outside and when I got outside, I kind of went up to the car and it was nobody in the car. My mailbox laying on the ground. This car then ran into another car and there's nobody in the car. Driver, passengers, nowhere to be found. So after a while, the neighbors, me and the neighbors, we just kind of talking, trying to figure out what's going on, just trying to figure out the situation because there's no nobody in the car there's nobody around nobody on the streets it's like at this point it's like 12 o'clock at night so i opened the door i kind of used my i had a hoodie on so i kind of i didn't want to get my fingerprints on the car or whatever so i just kind of used my my sleeve to open the door so when i opened the door first of all the car was still running lights still on music playing like nothing happened so i opened the door first thing i see when i open the door is a bag of weed sitting in the <laughs> it's a bag of weed sitting in the um what you call it the um the opening part the the know. door handle part yeah, the little tray thing in the door handle it's a bag of weed sitting there it's a cell phone on the driver's side it's a set of keys on the driver's side 
on the passenger side it's like some pink f furry fuzzy slippers and there's a set of keys on the uh, the passenger side in the cup holder it's another little bag of weed the car was just junky it was junky it was all over the place bag of weed um swishers everywhere in the car wig caps you know I, wig, I caps. Take them wig caps in the back seat it was a purse it not was not only just a purse it was a lv purse a louis vuitton purse and there was a louis vuitton bag in the back seat as well and then i opened the trunk and the trunk is like a few boxes of shoes um some clothes just some miscellaneous things I mean, it's, it's a lot of stuff in the car, like everywhere. Yeah. And the weird thing about it is both of the seat belts are still buckled up. Like the rapture key. Like the, like they was just raptured up. I mean, they, they had to get out of the car quick. Like, I mean, slip out of the seat belts, jump out of the seat belts, and just took off running us. I don't, I don't even know. But I'm the still trying to figure that out. I don't know. The seat belts were still buckled, like. Like, how did they do that? I, I don't know. Unless the seat, like, when they crashed, unless the seat was kind of locked or something and they couldn't get out and they just slipped out. Probably. But they were still bucked up. And we trying to figure, we, at this point, me, the neighbors, we all confused. We don't know what happened. We. And I just got tired looking from the window, so I came outside to be nosy. Yeah, after a while, she came out. I came to investigate because that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole situation was crazy it was a yes. it was a jeep was it a compass i think it was it was a small white car it's like a small jeep like a newer model jeep and it had michigan tags on it so i watched you know every now and then i watched the id channel whatever so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna run in the house and get some gloves so we can <laughs> further investigate what's going on. So when the house came back out, put the gloves on, me and Joe started investigating, trying, you know, trying to find IDs. We didn't see no type of insurance. No in the type car. of insurance. We... No driver license or nothing. You know, seen the cell phone ringing. You was like, okay, I'm like, I'm not gonna answer the phone, but eventually I ain't gonna answer the phone. So she was like, um, who is this? I said, uh oh. I'm like, uh, the world, who this is? Who you looking for? She's like, I'm looking for Greg. Who is you? I said, okay. Thank you. That's all I need to know. That's the, all the information I need to know. First of all, he, Grant, whoever Grant is, he in trouble. because he, Grant took off. <laughs> Grant is nowhere to be found. And she, she, kept, she kept calling. And now she kept calling. I pick up again. And I ask her, who white did you? She's like, oh, how do you know about my car? I said, no, worry about that. I said, is this your car? She's like, yes. I said, okay, well, first of all. Greg is in trouble because she probably thinking that he's with me. Then second, he's in her car. So I'm like, okay, he's in trouble. So, you know, start piecing things together. I'm like, is there really a such thing as a grant? Or you did all this in China, make it seem like it's Grant that did it. But I don't think it was such thing as Grant. I don't know. Because the funny thing is, when we was all sitting out there talking, like me and the neighbors, we was all trying to figure out what was going on. We kept seeing this red little Jeep kept, it just kept passing by. It passed by at least three times. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was the person that was in it or they had somebody like riding around checking the situation. Because the Jeep would pass by and then when it made like a right turn, it was kind of creeping slow on yep. the street. And then it just sat there for a while suspicious. and then it just kept going. So I don't know if like the person that kept calling the cell phone was actually the person that wrecked it. And they was like somewhere down the street looking at us and calling. I, I don't know. Nothing. So I'm like, what the heck? So come to find out it's a rental. But we was like, okay, if it's a rental, why that car looks like it been theirs for like years because mm -hmm. it was so junky yeah like the, oh, it's a car the like only thing i could think of that kind of makes sense is the person they i don't know maybe they robbed somebody and carjacked them and got what they want out of the car true it just wrecked it and just ran because the license plate was from michigan so yeah we couldn't yeah, really find so. nothing that's that's the only thing i can think of because why else would you leave all that stuff in the car like two sets of keys on both sides, driver's side and passenger side, cell a cell phone. phone, bags, all kind of stuff. So the only thing I can think of is they carjack somebody, 
and got what they wanted out of it and yep. just wrecked it and just went on about their business. I, I don't know. We were trying to see if we can catch it on our camera, but yeah, there was our, nothing. Yeah, our doorbell camera didn't pick up. Nothing, but we do have some footage on our phone, so y'all be able to see the footage. Yeah, we I did some Snapchat videos. At yeah. the time, I mean, it was so late, I wasn't even thinking about recording the whole thing with the camera, but it, it was just so late. So, but we do got a little bit of footage so y'all can see what we're yeah. talking about. Out of all that, I ended up with a tore up mailbox that I got to fix now. So, I no. guess I'm going I'm to have to try to fix it um, today, I guess, because mail runs tomorrow. And um, can't get mail if we got a mailbox up. So, got to try to fix it today. Get that back up. Yeah. So, that's it. Crazy. People hitting <laughs> mailboxes and cars. Just hoping hitting, they don't hit ours. I'm telling you, man. People hitting mailboxes, cars, jumping out, running, nowhere in sight. <laughs> if oh, they were smart enough, they would have taken all their stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, the evidence, the weed and the phone, but yeah, they ain't smart. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what happened with that situation, but I just know I got to fix my mailbox. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but guys, we will catch you on the next video. Y'all be safe. Don't be hitting nobody in your bosses. If you do, make sure you tell them. Don't run away. Don't run away. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna fix my mailbox later. Yeah. Yeah. A few moments later. is completely snapped in half so I'm gonna have to try to fix that because today is Sunday and tomorrow is Monday and mail runs tomorrow and I can't get mail if I don't have a mailbox up so I'm gonna try to get that completed today hopefully and of course it's raining when I want to do it but I got to get it done uh, this is where it used to be at before it got hit it's right there took out mine and the neighbors next to it um, my mailbox and the neighbor's mailbox and then it was a car parked right there That kind of stopped it. I'm gonna try to put a brace on this side and a brace on the back side just to give it some support um, And it has like a cement base in it. So I'm gonna keep that put a brace there brace on the back screw it in I gotta fix this uh, I gotta get a new number. I don't even know where that went and it probably explains why we were not getting mail or getting other people's mail because we don't have a visible number i think it's supposed to be black and it's like a smoky gray color so i'm thinking about maybe painting this black again um just because it, it needs it um it's pretty beat up so yeah i'm gonna try to fix it and we'll see how it goes i have a few scrap boards that i can use so I think I'm gonna choose one of these to use it as a brace. Um, I'm glad my daddy taught me to keep stuff like this because you never know when you'll need it. So I'm just glad I got something like this that I can use as a temporary fix for right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this one. It's just a scrap, scrap board I can use. I'm gonna use this one. Gotta measure it out to see how much of the board I need for the base. So, probably need to put it back together like this, like that. Okay. So, from here to here, I got about that much room to work with. Nine inches. So, and I got a few things I'll need. I'll need a drill to secure the brace in. Measuring tape so I can measure, pencil so I can mark, and right now the only kind of saw I have is like a jigsaw. I know I need to invest in an actual saw at some point. I've been meaning to for a while. It came in handy for times like this, but for right now, I'm just going to have to make do with the jigsaw to make the cut. So I just got to find out how I'm going to set up the cut because I don't have saw horses either, so I'm going to have to use something to prop it up. 
just to get a cut. Safety first, I almost forgot my goggles. So now let's get into it. So now I'm going to use this as a template to cut the next piece for the brace. Don't, don't have to measure because I already know it's 9 inches so I'm just going to mark that off. Got it. Two cuts for my brace. Okay, so right now we're ready to put the braces on. So I got the brace, so we can get the mailbox and we'll get that set. I think that's sturdy enough. I could probably put another brace here, but I mean, it's gonna have to work for right now till I can get it in the ground. This I'm gonna paint this. I'm not gonna do nothing fancy to it. I'm just gonna probably spray paint it. And I guess, I mean, cause it's actually supposed to be black, but it's like a smoky gray color. So I'm just gonna spray paint it. See the difference? For the flag, I'm just gonna put paper behind this so red won't get on that and just spray paint the flag a little bit. This is the end result of it. I just need to get it back in the ground. Got my two braces on there. It's not the best brace job. I mean, it's gonna have to work for right now. Got the brace on there. Both sides screwed in, secured. Fix this part. And give it a little paint job. And I still gotta get my number replaced right here and add numbers on the side but right now i got enough done just to get it back in the ground so i can get mail tomorrow got his back up it look like half of his cut off though why he got it standing like that you know i think he because i was out there to talk to him i think he cut a, he might have cut a little bit of it because it looked a little bit lower be careful That's my shoes.
that'll hold up for now. Hopefully. We'll see. Time will tell. Hi guys. So as you know, you already heard the story about the mailbox situation. Here is the update of the mailbox. So work hard and fix the mailbox until it is time for us to get a new one. But it is standing pretty good. As you can see, our neighbor's mailbox as well was hit. And he fixed his as well. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. So basically, Joe had to kind of like put uh, three boards on the side and there's another board in the back too to help um, the mailbox stand up by itself but this is the final result but yeah that is the update of the mailbox story and I hope you guys enjoy and make sure you subscribe to our channel Thank you. Bye. We're going to see how this drone takes place. Hopefully not in the tree again. But we shall see. Okay, so last time, we just set up. We was like right over here. 